Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this is another Halloween one and I really wanted to do a cute Halloween set and that's what this is. So uh, I was really happy with how these turned out. Um, but um, you can tell that I'm using my practice hand and I'm balancing it on the box that it came in because I've broke my stand. Um, I was just a bit too rough with it. So for this set I'm mainly using Madame Glam products so I'm using a gorgeous gel polish called Vanilla Sky and that's a really really nice lilac colour. I've only just got this. It was actually part of the Think Pink campaign from Madame Glam so I did get a few pinks in that one. Um, I think I got four so it is still October so you can still um, get gels in the sale i think it's 40 percent off sale and one dollar from everything in the think pink collection does get um sent to a, a, a cancer charity so that's a really good cause And then I'm using this one called Beautiful Chaos. This isn't in that collection. Um, this is one that I've had for a while. And this is like um, a metallic shimmery one. And that's going over the top of that vanilla sky just on two of the nails. And then I'm going in with um, the Velvet Matte Top Coat on the ring finger because I'm going to paint on um, a spider web. So I've sped this up because it took me a while. I was going really slow. I'm trying to get a bit better with my free hand um, and I was quite happy with how this one turned out. So I'm using my um, detailer brush and I'm just doing all the spider web in black and I'm using gel polish. I'm using perfect black. I'm not using the gel paint and that's because I want to put chrome over the top and the gel paint from Madame Glam, it doesn't have um, a sticky layer, a tacky layer when it's cured. So I would have had to go over with top coat over the, um, the spider web and I didn't want to have to go over it. So that's why I used the gel polish instead. So yeah, when I'm happy with that, I do I do keep curing it for 10 seconds in the lamp just to make sure that I don't mess up my design. So then after all that is cured, um, the finished one, I'm just leaving the tacky layer on and then I'm getting an applicator sponge and I'm using this magpie dust um, called amethyst and that's like a purple chrome. So that is getting rubbed directly into the sticky layer of that gel polish. Monsters like to come alive, come alive. And then when I'm happy with that, I go over it, I brush the excess powder off and then um, I go over with a base coat just to um, seal all that design in. And I am using my eye mailer top coat, uh, sorry, base coat, which is what I use for all my pigments and, and glitters and stuff. So then when that's cured, I go in with the no wipe top coat from Madame Glam and I just um, go over that and completely seal that in so that I don't need to touch that nail again. That's all finished. And then that gets cured for 30 seconds. Okay, and then I'm going in with the base coat and I'm putting that on the rest of the nails because I'm going to use some stickers on these nails. Um, and last time I used stickers, I just um, did it with, I just had a non-stick surface. So I used alcohol and then I buffed a little bit, but I couldn't move the stickers once I put them on. So I'm trying something else. I'm trying with the base coat. So that has been cured for 30 seconds. And then I'm using this really cute little pumpkin and ghost sticker and that's going on the pointer finger and I'm just pressing it on. But then because I've got that sticky base coat on, I, I can actually move the sticker around a little bit. So when I was happy with where it was, I go in with the base coat again and just cover up the design. Now you do, these stickers are embossed and you do lose a little bit of the effect when you top coat them, but I didn't want them peeling up and coming off. So after the base coat was cured, I went in with the no white top coat over the top of that. And these stickers are so embossed that you still get the effect, even though I've put a base coat and a top coat over them. So that was the pointer finger. So now on the middle finger, I'm putting a cute little ghost on. 
and I'm doing the same process I'm putting the base coat over the top curing that and then going in with the top coat and then I'm doing exactly the same on the pinky the pinky finger and these are the stickers that I got from Timu in my last haul and then I'm going in with these Aggie actually sent me these um, and she um, yeah she sent me this whole load of like the iridescent shapes and there was little stars in there and I thought they went just right with this uh, this set so I stuck those on the middle finger at the cuticle area and I stuck them on the pinky finger as well and then after that I am going in with the no white top coat over that middle nail just to seal all those little um, stars in but I do go over the rest of the nail just to make sure that it's all even and then I'm doing the same on the pinky finger and then that is those nails all finished so this was just like a really quick set they can do with stickers um, and yeah I really love the way these turned out I thought, I thought they were so cute um, I did consider doing the pinky finger and the pointer finger with a matte top coat instead of the glossy but I am going to try and fit in sort of a cute matte set as well a pink one if I've got time so yeah this these ones were, were kept glossy and I was really happy with that spider web um, so let me know what you think do you like this set would you wear them I was really happy with the way they turned out and the colour I'm really happy with that vanilla sky it's a gorgeous colour um, and then with the metallic one over the top, that beautiful chaos, it just gave it something else. And I just love that. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you like this set. Um, if you like this video, do give it a like. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next video. Everything I've used in this set will be in my description box below, along with my discount code for Madam Glam and all of my other discount codes. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. You know that will never work I'm a little bit absurd I like dancing on the verge Anyone can love a pretty little mansion But could you love a A haunted, haunted house Or could you love me now A haunted, haunted house I'm a haunted house A haunted, haunted house